Okay, so for this activity, we're going to watch some videos, and you're going to describe what you see in the video, and describe what type of heat transfer uh, process or material uh, you saw in the video. And the vocabulary you are going to use here is convection, conduction, radiation, insulator, or conductor. conductor. And you're going to use each word two times. Uh, the last sentence you, you, uh, you write is you describe the heat transfer process that is happening. I'm going to write it this way. That is happening. And the heat transfer or the heat is transferring from the blank to the blank. And I'm going to give you one example. Uh, and it's this video here. But first, I want to write some notes so we can understand uh, we are what we are writing about and so convection is heat transfer uh, by air or water and it could be liquid or gas and that is here this is convection here when you have a fire the fire heats the air and the air comes up and heats your hand that is convection convection Conduction is heat transfer by touch. So you touch uh, something. And here the hand is touching the metal. And when the hand touches the metal, the heat from the fire goes in the metal. And the molecules move faster and faster to touch the hand. And then you feel the heat. This is conduction. Heat transfer by touch. Radiation is heat transfer by light or electromagnetic radiation or waves. I'll put waves because it fits. And here you have radiation. This is the heat transferring by the light of the fire coming to your hands. And so the heat comes in the form of light and warms your hand. Conductor is a material that moves heat and here you have metal and this metal uh, is a conductor so conductor uh, let me draw an arrow here so you can see so this metal is a conductor it's a metal and metals metals uh, are conductors Metals are conductors. Very important to understand that metals are conductors. Insulator is a material that stops heat from moving. Um, and plastic, uh, your clothes, jackets, these are good insulators. And here uh, is an insulator because this stops the heat from getting to your skin or to your hand. This is metal, a good conductor, gets very hot, but then it, it goes over here and the insulator stops it. So I'm going to call uh, this an insulator. Let's use another arrow uh, here that's an insulator. Okay. Uh, so we have convection. Uh, this is heat transfer by liquid or gas, air or water. Conduction is heat transfer by touch. Radiation is heat transfer by light. Uh, conductor is a material that moves heat. An insulator is a material that stops heat. Okay, so air, water, liquid, or gas. Let's, let's uh, make that bold. Uh, that's for convection. Uh, touch is conduction. Light electromagnetic radiation is radiation and moves heat is conductor and stops heat is insulator. Okay. All right, so we're going to watch a video here. Uh, this is going to be for the example, the example here. And so we're going to watch this video. If you want a translation, you can go to settings, subtitles, and you can pick auto translation 
and you can get translation in Spanish or Chinese or Portuguese, whatever. Click that. Subtitles. Just rewind if you want to see how to do it. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click play. And we're going to hey watch guys, this video. Hey guys, Tori. Um, I'm basically just teaching guys how to curl my hair. That's a wand. I have a wand. Um, a clamping curling iron works too. Just don't use the clamp part because that's what makes your hair like... I'm going to fast forward. Thick. Here you have the iron, the iron, you have the hair, and the, you see the hair is touching the iron. The hair is touching the iron. You don't have to watch the whole video, but if you want to watch enough so you can understand what you see, if you need to use Google Translate, uh, hair, you can translate that. Um, if you need to translate other words, feel free to use this, that's okay. But now let's write. So this is for the example. In this uh, video, I saw a girl curling her hair, okay? And this is the form I use in this video I saw, in this video I saw. And I'm going to determine which one of these words will I use. And the process is, now there was touching. So the process is conduction because the hair was touching the iron, okay? So I used conduction. And now here, <clears throat> the heat is transferring from the uh, iron to the hair. So you tell me where is the heat starting and where the, is the heat going? And so that's the example. I want you to do this for 10 videos and you're going to use each process, each one of these words two times. So you're going to see each one of these words two times and you need to describe what you see and um, what process it is and then how the heat is moving.